cars are more than just automobiles. They are a show of wealth. They are a piece of luxury. A car is a man's best friend and his biggest flex. Owning a great car is equivalent to earning respect. Here, we are counting down cheap cars that can make you look rich. And some of these cars, we bet you haven't even heard of them before. Number 5. Factor Aurelio When you think of a supercar manufacturer, the Philippines isn't the first place that comes to your mind. But this car right here can change your whole perspective. Made in the Philippines, this car costs just 30,000 US dollars and looks much like an SSC Tuatara, but at only one-fifth of its price. A 21-year-old engineer, Kevin Factor, made this car with the support of his brother and a friend. The car is powered by a turbocharged engine, similar to the one found in a Honda Civic S. On the design front, the Aurelio has the undeniable look of a supercar, and you might even mistake it for a modified Ferrari 458 Italia. The front fascia and the contours have a bit of Italian written over it. The scissor doors bear familiarity too, as they look more like the ones on the McLaren P1, while the rear appears inspired by the Lamborghini Aventador. Then there's the low slung ground clearance and well-defined sharp edges that help it carry off its supercar credentials. About 80% of the car's parts and components came from the Philippines, but the wheels, transmissions, brakes, engine, and some of the suspension components. The rest is all sourced locally. The engine from Mitsubishi packs in 510 horses and tops out at 290 kilometers per hour. Not bad at all. It comprises of carbon fiber and fiberglass has 18-inch roto wheels, and uses a VR4 front and rear suspension. The Aurelio is at the zenith of Philippine automotive ingenuity. Number 4. Factory 5 F9 Factory 5 has made it a mission to build a mid-engine supercar, and that's exactly what they did. But they have closed the order book on their most iconic supercar, the GTM. It ruled the market of affordable supercars for over a decade and the highly anticipated replacement is the F9. Named so because it's the ninth design by Factory 5 Racing, or FFR. This car's design makes a dramatic statement with fresh lines that recall the likes of the Lexus LFA, Shelby GR1, and the sixth generation Ford Mustang. The F9 body will be made entirely of carbon fiber composite. FFR claims it will be supplied in a clear coat with no paint or bodywork required. FFR intends to offer the car in both street and race forms. They released the prototype chassis in 2019 with a 750 horsepower, 9.5 liter V12 LS engine. FFR anticipates the car to be under 2,400 pounds with a 104 inch wheelbase. Considering FFR's latest updates, we know functional testing, track testing, and wind tunnel testing were all completed on the F9 prototype. It's also expected to have three incarnations, the F9, F9R, and the F9E. The trademarks have been registered and the design patents have been obtained. So this is a car you still have to wait for to finally hit the market, and hopefully, it comes at a price you can afford. Number 3. Jaguar XKR This supercar is much more popular and easier to find on the used market than the other cars in our list. The Jaguar XKR XK joined this British luxury brand's lineup in the late 90s. It was produced in two generations, which ended in 2015. Essentially, it was an early grand touring version of the current F-Type, a car that still uses an evolution of the XK's chassis and motor. It also shares much with the Aston Martins of the 90s and the 2000s. It also finds itself compared to V8 Vantage and DB7, the XKR is powered by a 5-liter supercharged V8, making a little more than 500 horsepower. The XK is not a lightweight track car by any means. It has a curb weight of around 4,000 pounds, but it does offer a powerful drivetrain, an excited exhaust note, and a sleekly exterior design. In comparison to XK, the performance-focused 510 PS XK Dynamic R model benefits from a standard-fit black dynamic pack incorporating XKR S suspension and dynamics and a 10 mm reduction in ride height. But surprisingly, used models are incredibly affordable. 
Low mileage examples go for around 30K. And high mileage hard used XKs are found on the market for under 20 grand. That is a lot of luxury and class for the quoted price. Number 2. K1 Attack K1 Attack is a component car sold by a Czech-based garage called B Racing. Company B Racing only offers new original kits and is fully accountable. It bears full responsibility for the supplied parts quality. The advantage of kit cars is that it's cheap and also the design originality. They are the artists if standing out on a budget is an art. This futuristic car is delivered as an unassembled kit designed to be built by the customer. The fiberglass body arrives in 51 separate pieces installed on top of a custom rigid space frame to complete this homemade exotic beauty. This extremely stiff tubular space frame integrating a powerful sporty pass powertrain in the front of the rear axle dressed in a light radical jacket is the most extraordinary attention getter you can ever meet on the streets. The finished car has Lambo styled scissor doors, exposed headlights, a small wing, and a classy central mounted exhaust at the back. Since it's a kit, customers can choose various engines to power their build, ranging from Honda's K20 series to an all-electric eco-friendly powertrain. And if you are a lazy auto enthusiast, the pre-configured street kit starts at just 16,500 US dollars. Sure, you still have to pick out the engine and assemble it all yourself. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow if there is ever a car brand that epitomizes the ultra luxury, it's Rolls Royce. And the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow is by far the cheapest way to experience the British mark's luxury and build quality up close. The relatively cheap price is because the Silver Shadow is Rolls Royce's highest produced model. To date, the combined model run of a little over 40,000 units manufactured is the largest production volume of any Rolls Royce model. This was one of the most sought-after cars in the 70s. It was destined to use the same engine and gearbox as the outgoing Silver Cloud, which meant a V8 of 6.2 liters coupled to a 4-speed automatic gearbox. Unsurprisingly, the Silver Shadow family followed the Silver Cloud's footsteps by offering Bentley branded versions. The car is beautiful and massively comfortable but may need some maintenance in the engine and suspension departments and some rust to take care of. All in all, it is a great car that still carries the same level of lavishness as it did in the 1970s. And in today's market, you could get one starting from just $14,000.